politicians do not take time out to organize the community. As a matter of fact, they appear to be afraid to organize uh, the community. But um, of course, reality and truth tells us that the only way you get power is when the people are in fact properly organized. Plus, uh, our major task is to organize our people because we really have no power at all. As a matter of fact, we, since the 1960s, we still have no power. We have uh, some visibility, some more tricks, but uh, as a matter of fact, the situation is getting worse. And uh, the responsibility for organizing our people rests on each and every one of our shoulders, not just on one person's shoulder, not just a leader in the community, not just a preacher, but everybody has a responsibility to help organize the people. And uh, perhaps in our discussion today, as we said, if this can come across more than anything else, then we will have served our purpose, that is, the responsibility for organizing the people. We can just discuss, though, however, uh, organizing the, the people. Uh, certainly, we're disorganized. You see that? Yeah. Well, if you go to get their attention. All right, I, I like the first one. That's a good step. You must get their attention now. If you wanted to get their attention, what were some of the things you would do to get their attention? Mm -hmm. Now, let us rule out immediately the mass media. All right, let's rule that out completely because we don't control it, number one. The mass media is an arm of the United States government. Two, the mass media supports, sustains the capitalist system. Three, therefore, it is to be properly understood, number four, that the mass media will not give any publicity to something that's going to destroy that which it supports. So we must leave out completely the mass media. We don't control it. So without the mass media, how would we go around trying to get the attention of our people? Sam, why don't you help? Louder. I guess we have to make each other see that there's a need for us to come together. We have to bring out what it is, the problems that are common. All right. We can bring out the common problems, show us the necessity to come together. All right. These are uh, policies, but I think what I was looking more for were tactics on how to, to, to bring the people, how to, get the, how to get the attention of the people. What simple little thing could you do to get the attention of the people? Exactly, it's one word of mouth, just like we do with this one. We just go around and get the people. That's one way. Yeah, because you see, sometimes uh, organizing the people appears to be a very difficult task, and uh, especially this country, they try to make it appear as if it's impossible that our people just can't be organized. They make it appear that they just can't. In fact, people tell you all the time, "Well, you can't organize them." They ain't never going to come together. You know. And uh, one of the reasons is because they make it so mystical, organizing the people. We must find scientific, step-by-step -step little approaches to bring our people together. So all of them, all, all, all organizations are set up on ideologies, whether the people in the organization understand it or not. Of course, for example, America is a capitalist system, therefore the capitalist ideology reigns supreme, whether we are aware of it or not. But once you function within the society, if you're not functioning against the, the ideology, then unconsciously you're part of it. What are the things we can do, my brother? We can try and do that, but we don't have any power to make them do it. As a matter of fact, if you notice very carefully, what happens is that some of them start off saying some real things, you understand, talking real bad, and then uh, the man gives them a little bit more money, and then they start talking more love and less struggle. <laughs> so, while your point is good, you see, we have to look at the reality. For example, we can't say to uh, uh, the Funkadelics, for example, hey, man, y'all are just, you know, we can't do it. There's no way to force them. 
because you don't have any organization. Even to go put guns to their head and tell them, if you sing this nonsense again, we're going to kill you. Even to do that, you must have an organized force. So in lack of the organized force, what you say is correct. We can go and try and make them conscious, but uh, most of them anyway, with the money they're getting, they just can't see the people yet. Some ain't even getting money, they're just getting publicity. Um, once you do that, you can have a lot of problems, especially if you start with the leaders, because uh, in this society, usually they tend to, to push, you know, the big fish in the little pond uh, concept, you see, and uh, once you talk, start talking about the leader, see if he's a leader with about three people behind him or a leader with about ten people, come throw it in and uh, be a nobody with, uh, in 50 people, uh, well, it's kind of difficult. It's not saying it cannot be done. It must be done. It must be attempted. But, uh, and then also in many cases, these organizations are set up for different purposes. And what you can do is bring all the organizations together and form a united front. Each organization can still function, but to make them a mass organization, that one a little bit more difficult. <clears throat> I was, we still also want to get ways to, to, um, to get the people's attention. One way is pointed out is that we use word of mouth communication. Just go around and say, there's a meeting, or we're trying to do this, we're trying to do that, and try and get the people together. I just got a flyer out at uh, 14th and Euclid, where I live. Uh, they're moving us out of the neighborhood fast and uh, moving in uh, white people very rapidly, and uh, people just started putting out a flyer, saying, we're, we're, you know, our neighborhood is changing, we have to wake up, be aware of this, we're having a meeting Sunday at such and such a church, come. All right, so now when I saw the leaflet, I thought, well, there's some people working on it, good. But at least now I know. So this is one way they've gotten my attention through the leaflet, and they had it uh, stuck up on a telephone, public telephone booth, that I went to make a telephone call, and I saw it and was able to read it. So this is one way of probably getting the attention of the people. Because the first thing we want to do is to get the attention of the people, at least. Any other ideas on getting the attention of the people? Aha, uh -huh. we must take the interest of the people must take the interest of the people. It must take the interest of the people. Uh, next time I'll go off to uh, Let's put it on there. Who's problem is down here right in the school. I don't know what we can do about the school and how we teach our kids. What we say to them is very important. Instead of teaching them tic tac toe, you know, teaching them that they don't get to from this point to that point that that can't be accomplished. You know, forget about the, uh, the point that it's just to go around. The reason why we're not doing anything with them is because we're not organized. Okay. So for example, I'm sure nobody in this church, I'm sure no African <coughs> in Washington, D.C. hearing your remarks can disagree with it. Everybody will say yes, of course. See? But then now, the question of how is an organized force will even be telling the same thing. Because, for example, you may be telling your children something that you really think is good. You understand? Our sister here may be telling her children something she really thinks is good. Brother here may be telling his children something he really thinks is good, but all three of them will be different. Okay. Even, for example, my mother might tell me something that she really thinks is good, but I know it's wrong. So, what you need is at least an organized force where you decide these things are good. And then everybody is saying the same thing at the same time, and you feel better. So, the problem is correct, but again, we come back to the central issue of the organization of the community. I think you had a very good point because you had. It's still a question of organization. But it's still an organization within the PTA. And if you have the right message to give, uh -huh. the ending, you know, yes. All right, then the question, I understand that. That is, for example, at least we must all be given the same message. Right. Yeah, so that's the problem. At least how we organize so we're all getting the same message. So if you can get one of these person in each area, yes. that can be done, and that's the organization. I understand that. I'm not disagreeing with it. I'm just saying that even the one, for example, 
if we decide here, right, there are five PTA meetings in Washington, right, we're sending you to one, 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 we're sending you to one. Yeah, but everybody must at least have the same message. Same yeah, because you might go and talk one thing entirely different. From so the question of even getting those five organized first, uh -huh, that's the test. Teaching school at night, teaching the other people how to read. And she got fired. And I don't see how nobody even ever stood up for the lady or nothing. We got city councils, you understand me? Ain't said nothing. We put John Wilson in there. Buried, all right. Legalizing, marijuana and all that stuff. But what about this teacher over here that got fired? That was teaching the kids and the grown people how to read. Now, I want somebody to answer that question. I wanted y'all to go over there and try to help the lady. Yeah, that's what he was saying. That's what he was trying, that's what he was trying to say. That's what he was trying to say. You got to get it together. One mistake she made, one mistake she made when she didn't organize them. Yeah. Oh, they were, they were, but they just a bunch. They weren't organized. But it don't take a whole mass of people to do really it. Does. It can be three or four, and they can be just as effective. But just we, you know, it just takes one for all of that. It takes the people for everything, man. You mean, See, I wonder what you're going to say there. Oh, you know I wasn't going to let that one slide. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to let that one slide. No, the people got to do it. That's a good point. Because you know what? Like, said, like you said, your mom might tell you to do something, man, you're not going to do it right. Somebody tell you, you may. Because you know what? Every mother and father means the best for their child or children, right. but they don't know what's best for their child or children all the time. Oh, and especially after they grow up. Oh, I'm saying, who would say, uh, no, who would say the best? But you, 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 you be the own leader. I know that. I am my own leader. See, what we do now, what we do now. I'm going to try to see that. I am basically. No, it's all right. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with it because when we go to organize the people, now one thing we must understand: when we go to organize the people, everybody got different ideas, and we have to listen and understand and not jump. I go to church, yeah. I go to primary church, but I don't see anyone. Man. Like he's mine. See, and he's mine, my wife. I go to church here and preach. Other preachers preach that, but I listen to me. But still, I have God gave me five. God gave me nine. So I, I listen to a certain extent. Wait a minute. I listen to a certain extent, but I use common sense. Version my own self, and then they understand I don't have. I take it to God and ask Him to give you the more knowledge. Do well, you think God will hear you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I can tell you something real deep, so, but I'm not going to go into it. He heard me. I'm sitting here today. It wouldn't be for Him. I'd be in jail. How do you know I'm sitting here? Because God got me sitting here. How do you know God got me sitting here? 
I can't talk to you, man. How you know? Because you're in How you know you're here? No, no, no. Let me explain something. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something. I understand. Once you go to organize the people, what I'm doing is just letting you show you some of the things. Because if you go to talk to somebody, for example, in the South, when I went to organize peasants, I couldn't walk in that room unless I started saying, good morning, it's a nice day, praise the Lord, thank Jesus, we're alive. Right. If you don't say that, you can't even get up in the door. You understand? Now, the other day I was trying to talk to a brother who's, uh, who's a Muslim, all right? Not a community, just an Orthodox Muslim. Now, I couldn't get my foot in the door unless we start talking about Islam and Allah. You understand? Now, if I want to organize him, that's what it means, understanding where the people are. So you must understand where they are. So the people talking, people talking about God and Allah, even if you're not concerned with it, you better go on down there a little bit, zipping it before you can pull them back what, up. What I'm trying to say to you, brother, is you, the guy walk through this door now, and he's telling you that, man, I'm hungry. My family's hungry. What, what you trying to say? Is my family hungry? I haven't got a job. And you can tell him about God going to help you. You're going to tell him God. Then don't tell that man about God. Help Put some food in that man's stomach right there and help his family. Then that's God helping him his family. Then he'll listen to you. But if you don't put some food in his stomach and his family's coming, he ready to rob you, me, and everybody else in this church and God and rob in the street. But you help yourself. You help yourself. I know you help yourself, but the man looking for a job can't get a job. You help yourself right there, brother. He ain't helping himself. Man, but you know things. He's sick, brother. You know, I mean, okay, so, let me finish. Hey, let me finish. You know, God help them who help themselves. Yeah, see, right. and if you don't help yourself, you can, if you well and don't try to help yourself, then you might. But if you get sick, you're going to help you. If you well, you're going to help you. If you're looking and sick and trying. But I don't buy that no job. I don't care what you're going to buy. You don't want to. You don't. That's your prerogative. All right. To be what you want. To, but you know, I didn't come in to argue. Would you no, we can argue. Ain't nothing wrong with arguing for the truth now. Ain't nothing wrong with arguing. Let me, let me, let me just say something. Ain't nothing wrong with arguing for the truth. But this look, but, but that's not, that's, that's, that's always two sides to everything. You know, they have a filibuster, you know. Because I don't see your side. Your side don't mean that, that you're not right. Don't mean I'm not right. Well, I say you understand me. People say you understand me. There's no jobs out there. But you didn't hear what I say. There's jobs out there. But you help yourself. It's jobs out there. Go yes, without it paying. Now, don't you, know one thing? don't you know one thing? You sit around here and you know? looking for the right thing, and the right thing don't never go. Don't you know one thing? I hope you hear what I said. I hung trash. You know, people are like, oh, that Philip working on the trash truck. So what? So what? So what? You understand me? I help myself. Now, I am self employed. Did you hear that? All right, all right. This this one got the floor now. All right, this brother got the floor now. We can argue, we can argue, but we can only argue one at a time. Yeah, I'm helping my brothers. You know, yeah, I'm helping my brothers. Let's get the other brothers. Right, I am. I like to say something to all the people here. Our people want to know how can we organize? We got to organize by forming the people that this situation is made that we were confronted with in 1977 is serious, very serious. People lives are at stake, and this is one of the ways we. Make our people identify. They must be able to identify with the seriousness of the situation. Because if they don't identify now, there will be no later. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought of the problem of uh, putting the problem in focus. You know, like there's so many different opinions and different and different ways that people go about living their life that you gotta choose the common problem. Now, what we've got so far, the discussion is that a lot of people have said what, what has come out is that everybody got their own opinion about everything. All right? yeah. But now, when you want to organize the people, everybody got to have the same opinion about the same thing. That's the only way you're going to organize it. So that means that if this brother here says that God can't do nothing for you, if this brother here says God can do everything for you, you understand, they'll never be able to be organized. So what we have to do is to find the meeting ground that will organize both of them. Right. Now, there's only one meeting ground that will organize everybody, and that's the truth. That's the truth. It, this is what I'm trying, I'm trying to come to. It's that it's not what you believe, uh -huh. it's but what it is. I heard that. That's what I'm trying to say. You can take me to the back, and, and you can tell me, tell me it's made of honor, show me the fundamental step from the, from the base, from, from the little honor to the base step. And I can look at it in my eyes, but I can say, I don't believe it. 
But of course, I don't believe it, but still, it's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what it's saying, the real thing. See, I mean, like having self-will power. <coughs> I stopped being living, you know what? I had self-will power. My wife gonna make me stop. I ain't gonna no doctor get no take no medicine. I stopped because you know why? I know it wasn't doing me any good, and I know it wasn't, I wasn't born to drink it. And I know it made me sick, and it made me do crazy things, and get me in trouble, and all kind of things. So I said, I'm not gonna let something in the bottle make me do it. So, so what it is, the real thing. Yes, 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 it helped. It messed your mind up, it did. Okay, yeah. I just want one of your ears. No, I don't even see people on the TV. Look at me doing this side. Look at me doing a lot of TV. Yes, you do. Yeah, okay. Did you hear what I said? Look at him make it, dude. It's not his pocket from his own experience. You can't tell me what he's doing. What 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 matters up to him? See, I'm not talking about selfless spirit. No, I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about selfless spirit. Look at him make it, dude. You can't tell me what you do. You can't tell me what you do. You can't tell me what you do. Well, though, this is the part. No, 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 no. Just let it go. No, let it go. Let it go. Don't be so excited. Right. Can I just say one thing? Let me just say one thing now. Organizing the people ain't going to be no quick, fast, in a hurry job. It ain't going to be that. And you can't think that you get people, you get people different in one room and in one day you're going to get them all. No, 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 no. Organizing is a constant, continuous, constant, continuous, every day, little by little, tap, tap, little by little, tap, tap for years and years. And sometimes the work you do, the next generation going to get it. Well, what I'm saying, wait, wait a minute, this minute, let me, let me comment on what he said. He said, drink his liquor, ain't got nothing to do with this. Don't hear this. When you go to school to take up, for one thing, you got to take all kinds of substances to get that one. You can't just take that one substance you go to school, brother. So liquor's involved in dope and everything is involved in organizing. Yes, right. yes it is. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, it is. I, I'm a little old, you are, and I got no sense to know that too bad. Not that I know everything was wrong now. I got a 10-year-old daughter can tell me something. I got a daughter in college can tell me something. I went to 12th grade, a daughter. I got a son in 11th grade. I got a son in the same. They can tell me something. But I think I can tell them something too. We can tell each other something, bro. I hear you. I know. I okay, hear my you sister. My ear. <laughs> I bet my life on it. I bet everybody's life is from this world. All right, let's get the sister now. Let's get our sister you over here. Something. All right, let's get our sister over here. She'll help us. We know it. We don't have to believe that. We know. We know we can be organized. Believe. There ain't no belief. We can do it. There ain't no belief. We but know. But you got to do something about it. Uh, you got to do something about it. You got to do something about it. She's going to talk to this chief. All right. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. A little bit louder. Yes. material and immaterial things. Even Jesus says, man shall not live on bread alone. You understand that? That's a powerful statement. You understand? Like you say Islam and you say Christianity, they've been around for 2,000 years. 
You understand? The problems that people had in them 2,000 years already solved, you understand? For example, if we, if we organize the people around housing today, and let's say we solve housing today, what's going to happen tomorrow? Right. Well, we still got to keep it together. You understand? Well, I'm saying you have to start somewhere. Yes. Okay. Once you get started, I think these, these basic, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that the material aspect to begin with. Yes, now there's the material and the immaterial. First thing on our mind. No, no, yes, but there's the material. organization do we how do we want to organize the people do we want to organize the people on a temporary basis or do we want to organize the people on a permanent basis now when I say permanent I don't mean 30 years you understand I mean thousands of years principles, you understand what I'm going to say. So when we talk about organizing, we're not even talking about just clearing up the problems that this generation has. We want to make sure this one ain't going to have Right. That's what I'm talking about. So that means that while we understand the housing is there, the unemployment, all of those things, if you're not careful, become primary rather than secondary. Because once the people are organized, ain't no problem they can't deal with. For example, if you come to organize uh, 10 people in here over the housing problem. You organize them, you understand? And if I come and I organize five over long range objectives, they're going to keep them for thousands of years, you understand? Once you solve your problem with housing, those people fall apart. Then you have a problem of welfare. Then you got to go and find who will be wealthy and organize again. For me, once I got mine organized, you understand? Any problem that comes in our way, any problem, any problem we're ready to deal with. And we ain't going to break up once that problem is solved. As a matter of fact, it'll bring us closer together. Huh? I can't hear you. No, not exactly coalitions now. This is a question of organization. For example. But see, what would you organize on some kind of level? It has to be the All right. No. Uh -huh. Ideological. No, it can be ideological. It doesn't have to say religion. It can be ideological. For example, Reverend Coates is here. He's got a church, right? If some family is, uh, it needs help, all you got to do is come before the church and say, Mr. So and so in the hospital this week, give us some money. It's already, you got the organization already. You understand? But now, if we're not organized, and Mr. So-and-so, her house burned down, or whatever, in the community. The community comes together, we try and put a community together, put the community together, raise the money, help Mr. So-and-so whose house been burned down. Then the committee falls apart. You understand? So what happens is that once you begin to organize around issues, and if you're not careful, this system will encourage you. It will encourage you to organize around issues. And some of our best organizers are best organized around issues. You see them everywhere. Today, Mr. So-and-so burn out, they organize the committee. Tomorrow, there's a problem with police brutality, they're in the front leading the struggle for police brutality. Next day, they struggle with the housing, they're out there with housing. But uh, all they're doing is they're helping little by little by little, putting band-aids. But uh, every time they put one band-aid on and go another place, not only does the band-aid erupt, the cut gets bigger. You understand? So now if we talk about organizing the community, we must be clear. Are we talking about a temporary organization or a permanent? And permanent is to say for generations to come. Right, now that, that when you start doing that type of organizing, it takes on entirely different uh, perspectives. You're speaking of permanent basis. You're speaking of something that's going to be right forever, not something that's going to be right for a little while. All right. Then if we're talking about that, then the issues that we confront shouldn't confuse us so much. We understand, we start, we're going to solve, not only that, we're going to solve every issue out here. Every issue. All right? Not exactly, because men, uh, the reason why I say that. That's my observation. All right, let me tell you why not. The reason why I say it, because I, can, I was once confused on the same thing, too. The reason is that we say man does not live on bread alone. And if we're not just fighting for survival, you know what I'm saying? If we're just fighting for survival, we might have to stop now, because we're going to die anyway. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? So it's not just to survive. I mean, why fight to survive to be 90? You know what I'm saying? Why just well give up at 30? Yes, that goes in. No, I'm not fighting to survive. I have a contribution to make to humanity. That's what I came here for, not just to survive. And once I become, I come conscious of the fact that my contribution to humanity is more important even than my own survival. Yeah. That's when I give my life to the people. You understand? But if I'm just out to survive, I can't give my life to the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. 
you can have it. What you can get. Now, I was confused on it one time because this society will confuse you. Thoroughly confuse you. So you think you're really fighting. Yeah, man, it's survival. Right, somebody said, a man in Africa told me, son, you don't fight for survival. I said, yeah, we fight for survival. He said, well, then die. <laughs> I said, what you mean? He said, well, if you just fight to survive, you're going to die anyway and die. Mm-hmm. Then a person would, I guess the immaturity thing you are speaking of means that you feel like you're living your life to the best of your ability, you know. That yeah, but then again, but that, that again would run some trouble. For example, a brother who is a school superintendent in, this, in, in any given city, all right, where we have a majority of Africans living there, all right, he may be getting, let's say, a $35,000 a year job, all right? Now he feel he's living his life where well, he might even give some money to the NAACP, might even give a life membership to the NAACP, that's what I'm talking about. Now he feels that he's living his lifestyle right. Now, it may not occur to him that based on a whole process of exploitation which he may not be aware of, he is part of the exploitative machinery. So it's not just a question of no, so it's got to begin beyond that, it's got to be a question of principles. It's got to be principles. Understand. And all they deal with the problem is say say unemployment. Mm -hmm. It's one of the other contradictions that we see develop. Right. I mean to say that we can deal with housing and uh we solve the problem with housing and, and that the problem is just that that's actually a non dialectical in itself because in understanding the total ramification of the problem of unemployment, we we have to deal with the overall effects of it. The, uh, well, my brother it can happen. Let me give you a simple example. I should have all the it can happen. No, no, no. no, 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 no about sickle cell, sickle cell, sickle cell. Fundraising everywhere for sickle cell, sickle cell. Now the political prisoner thing has gone down to a level. <coughs> the sickle cell done one gone down to a level, you understand? They'll come and run another one up under you, you understand? Uh, yeah, but it, it, it becomes a question of raising the consciousness of the people. Ah, uh -huh, then. And then, I think then, you're dealing with a short-term issue, short-term goals like, say, unemployment, just a short-term uh -huh. goal, which we see from a longer-term, as you pointed out. Uh -huh. I'm going to tune you all with that. Huh? I'm going to tune you all. You're going to tune me off? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a mind. But I'm, a, I'm taking this in as too many more. Brother, you ain't going to be good organizing that. That's awesome. <laughs> 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 that is that. You ain't going to do the organizing. <laughs> I started when I was born. You know, not something on the broad perspective has to start from faith. Okay, let me ask you a question. Both of you. Which one is more important? The long range or the immediate goal? Of course the long range goal is more important. We have no problem with that. Okay. We're talking now about raising the consciousness of the people, right? And we're talking about dealing with those problems that immediately impact them at this date and time. No, I'm not. We're not talking about dealing with No, I am not. If we began to say, hey,
You're baptized. Because you reinforce it. Right. That's all you do is reinforce it. Right. Right. This preacher will come here and he will preach in this same church for 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years. Every Sunday he's coming out of the same book. Let's discuss a little bit more so we can it's see. Like, like he's saying, it's the, the other tall preachers that tell you that, uh, that you're going to get some uh, honey and milk and, and uh, warm honey rolls and, and, and every day going to be, be sunny in heaven. But see, that the real preachers tell you that we want our heaven here on earth every day. And when you know, he's trying to say that we want our heaven every day. Yes, I go to church, but I don't go to church just to believe as they was man saying, I believe what I, what I want for my children and what I want for my fellow man. I mean, Give me some, give me some justice now. Yeah. Give me some clothes and hell 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 See, I, I don't, you might have a different way from me. You might be some, but I understand you and I respect your, your belief. You know what I'm saying? See, I can still deal with you. See, because what I'm saying is, like, get back to the drinking. Uh, that I can sit and listen to you all day long. You don't like you at all. But soon I get a drink of liquor and I call you a hey, finish. I didn't let you know what I didn't have. But just out of here, see, so I'm saying, you do the same thing to me. So that's what I'm saying. Understand and respect is the greatest thing in the life. You know what I'm saying? Just, and that's where you get all the time. That's inside you know what I'm saying. Okay. I know your question, bro.
lost which brother here, maybe some other people. Long range or short range, which is more important? And around which do you start? The short range or the long range? Yes, that's right. right. But I agree, the long range is the long range. I agree with that. But I agree that we start. With you. That's where we disagree. Yes. Right. So, we must know where we disagree. That's where Why should we start with something that isn't going to last? Why should we start with something that's going to be temporary? You don't begin with the F. No. No. Yes. All the other kind of things. With religion, we have power. We have true power. Religion is long range. Religion is long range. We're going all the time now. All right, brother, you speak. Religion is long range. Martin Luther King and all of our great leaders all believe in God. Everybody in this room has the common bound that we all believe in God. This is our meeting place. We start with here and we move on. If we had any non-believers in God in this church, they would all leave right now. Listen carefully to everything they say so you know where to cut them when you come back. Don't jump. Matter of fact, when they get hot, that's when you get cooler. Matter of fact, you encourage them to get hot because the hotter they get, the less clearly they think. But you always think clearly. You, you, you act like you're mad, but you're cool. <laughs>
said, hey, brother, we got to fight it. Because the said, we talk about fight, man. We fight you, you understand? You can be a white man in Bible, you understand? So this is what you're going to face. So then you get a little bit about it. Here you got people interested in organizing. <laughs> they want it. I'll tell you this, and one other thing I must say, an old man once told me in Africa, he said, when you go to organize these people, they ain't asked you to come. They ain't asked you to come, you understand? So if you get stitches off, if you get cold chicken salad, if you get whatever you get, <laughs> they ain't asked you to come. But since we're going out to organize and they ain't asked you to come, then you've got to get prepared for some of those. not for me just to push my point. You understand? That ain't gonna be right. I'm gonna tell you what the answer is. You understand? But what we want is a process where everybody can know the answer for themselves. You understand? So it ain't because your brother said it, I know the difference. You understand? I follow Second Grace Ray. I picked him as my I picked him. Ain't nobody gave it to me, you understand? I know he's heavy, you understand? But when Second Grace says something, you understand, when I get up and I say it, I ain't saying it because he said it, you understand? I know it's true. You understand? He blows off the way. I ain't blown off the way, you understand? Because I know it's true. And that's what we must build into the people. The process where everybody knows for themselves. This is true. Not because the leader knows it or the expert knows it. I know it. Okay. I got the two major points I come back to. And I got your question too, my brother. After this one. Okay, Rabbi. 